A common mistake artists make when drawing the neck is bending it unnaturally. There are two muscles we need to look at. The trapezius, which goes all the way up to the back of the head and then wraps around to the collarbones. Then we have the sternocleidomastoid muscle, which attaches to the collarbones and then goes all the way up to behind the ears. So the back plane of the neck is created by the trapezius and the front and side planes are created by the sternocleidomastoid. Back to our drawing, first we need to place the ear and collarbones. Then we draw the sternocleidomastoid and potentially the trapezius as well well if the back plane is visible. 